What's up, guys? Today we're going to take a look at Wise Program Installer. Instead of just running the built-in installer of a software, it also scans and cleans leftovers after the install. So it does a much better job than the Kinto Panel install. Now let me open Wise Program Installer. Every time you run it, it will scan your computer and give you a clear list of all the software installed in your computer. You can rearrange them by name, size, date, or just tap in the keywords to find the program you need to install. For each program, you can choose from three options, safe install, modify, and forced install. For normal programs like Skype, you should just click safe install. Click yes. Now it's executing the built-in installer of Skype. After the built-in installer has done its job, once program installer is scanning for left register entries, files, and folders of Skype. Then it shows me the scanning result. I will just delete everything. Now Skype is completely gone away from my computer. For some software that is not functioning properly, if you want to keep on using it, you can click Modify. It allows you to change or repair the program, but only part of the software supports this feature. Forced install allows you to get rid of software by deleting everything that is associated with it. You should only use it when safe install is not working for you. Click Yes. Instead of running the built-in installer that comes with the software, it directly scans the computer for all the registered entries, files, and folders of the software, and then delete all of them. This feature comes in real handy when you are dealing with stubborn programs or programs without any installers. There is more to this software. In the top right corner, click Log. Here it keeps a backup of all the leftovers of the software it has installed. You can recover any of them in case anything goes wrong. So that's it. I hope this tutorial can help you a little bit. Thank you for watching.